All right, so today we're going to make a 3D main menu. Let's get started. Start off by making a new folder for your menu UI. And then open that up and make a new folder for your map. Open that up and make a new level for your main menu level. Make a new blueprint class. Scroll down and search for HUD. I'm going to name this main menu HUD. Next we're going to make a user interface, a widget blueprint for your main menu screen. Then we're going to make another widget for your main menu bar. And then I'm going to copy all the lighting and bring it all into my new level here with a little platform. <laughs> Next we need to add the main menu game mode. And then go over here into world settings, save all, and change that game mode override to your main menu game mode. Open this up, default pawn to none and change your HUD to the HUD class we just made. Save all. Open up the main menu HUD. Create a widget. Get the player controller and choose the main menu screen. Promote that to a variable. And then add it to the viewport. And that's all we need to do in here. So close that. Alright, now we're going to open the main menu bar. Add a canvas panel. Add a vertical box inside that. And I'm going to add two buttons. And put some text inside of those buttons. Alright, I'm going to make the text not hit testable self only so that way you can't get caught up by clicking on the text when you're trying to click on your button. I'm going to anchor this vertical box, change the width, and then I'm going to add two spacers, one on top and one on the bottom. I'm going to take the two buttons and fill them. And then the spacers, I'm going to add a custom size, so that way I can choose the size of my buttons. I'm just going to change the color of these texts. And change the name of the top one to Play Now. And the other one to Quick Game. And then I'm going to rename this one to Button Play and Button Quit. Last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to wrap this with a border. Just to give it a little more personalization. I'm going to change the color to black and 0.5 alpha. Compile Save. Open the event graph. Delete all this, you don't need these. Click on your button, click the on clicked event, as well as the quit button. And I like to put a delay before these. And off the first one, you're going to do open level by reference object, object reference. Select the level that you want it to open. And then off of quit, you're going to search for quit game and get the player controller. Compile, save, and close that. Now we're going to open the main menu screen, add that to it, and stretch it across the screen. Compile, save, close that. 
All right. Uh, now I'm gonna add a camera actor to the world. So we have a 3D camera for our main menu level. Save that and open the level blueprint. Make that a bit smaller so that way you can grab your camera actor, drag it right in. And then go over to the begin play. Get player controller and set view. Target with blend. And the new target is your camera actor. And that should be good for that. Go into the project settings, maps mode, set the default to the main menu for when the game starts up. And the default game mode should be fine like that because we're overriding the game mode within the world settings itself. Play now and quick game. Play now takes you right into your level. Alright, go into the main menu HUD. We're gonna set show mouse cursor. Set input mode to UI only. Hook those up. Set the widget to focus to be the variable that we promoted play now and now I can click on the screen and the mouse won't disappear and I can click on both of my buttons and they work just fine next I'm gonna create a blueprint glass for the in-game HUD because when I hit play I do not have control over my character And then I need to open that level up, go to the world settings, to change that HUD to the in-game HUD. And that should be good for that. Open up the HUD, event graph. Get the player controller. Then we're gonna set show mouse cursor and set input mode to game only. And that should fix that. So now, I'll just gotta go back to my main menu. Hit play, quick game works. Play now, right inside the game, and I can move around. Works just fine. Okay, so if you want to add some animation to your text, you just go into your main menu bar here. Down here, add an animation for the hover anim. And then click that, add a track for the text that you have selected. And then a transform track. Open that up. And then we're looking for the scale there. So we're going to bring this over to... 0.15, open up the scale and change that to 1.25 on both X and Y. And then click the little plus to add the keyframes. I'm only going to do this for the play now. You can do this for both texts or whatever you like. So we're going to grab our button play and go on hover. And then click it again and go on unhovered. Get your hover anim out. Drag out of that, play animation forward. Drag out of it again, play animation reverse. And plug these in. And that should be it. Hit play. And now you can see the play now animates. Thanks for watching.